Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'm Colleague Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 82 of my Generation Zero Let's Play series. Today we're going to do a medium base defense, then we're going to do some more Phoenix bases. We may actually build up one of the bases around here. I'm not sure which one to do though. Maybe guard, maybe guardberg or something. Something that, you know, has some distance between us or something. I don't know. We're going to decide that. As, to as the episode wears on. I'm going to start a medium base defense. We'll kill some tanks real quick. Alright, where are we going? Over here. Uh, actually. We've got our sniper boy set up. So let's see if he actually does any damage for us. Try and see if he can rock some... Rock some uh, machines to their core. I think he killed one. Once they get too close, though, he can't hit them. Oh, man. What did you die from? Did you die from this? Oh, hell yeah. Alright, let's head over here. We might end up in placing another one. I'm not sure yet. There we go. Alright. Come on. No! Oh my god, hit the tank please. Okay, we don't have a lot of time. I need to get these walls repaired real quick, and get some new ones down in their place. Wow, he really knocked out that corner wall, didn't he? Eh, let's put one of these down, screw it. And let's put... One of these down, one of these down. Alright, we got a tank. Which, to be honest, the tanks are actually easier than anything else. The runners are probably more annoying than the tanks are. Hello, prototype tank. You're not going to last long, are you? Not if I hit out all your components. The sniper did hit him. Got him. to see what rewards we get from this, like how much cement we get from this. I'm curious. Resistance Sniper, you're not very good. To be honest. Oh, this is also not closed. Ow. I want to try and survive this guy shooting at me. So I want to go in and use my med thing, my med trailer, and try that out. I want to give that a quick, quick burl. 
Alright. This is manual opening. These two. I want to change all these to the Russian versions. Uh, let's see. So we stand in this little spot. He meds us up. Cool. I put another, I don't know, eight or whatever in there so he could do 800 health. 800 heal. Oh, come on. Okay, they're really smashing this side. Come on. Yeah, move around to the front where the sniper is. That's fine. Okay. A few hunters out here. Just a few. Oh my god. Alright. I swear medium was Phoenix. Oh no, that's hard. Is media is Phoenix tanks. I should have just gone for hard. What are you gonna do, prototype tank? You're not even coming near the base, mate. Okay, we're out of AP ammo. What are you doing? 10, 2, 11. I got no cement from it? Okay. Do we get anything else? Fair enough. Oh, well, we're around that pretty easily. Let's see what we got. Oh, it is good for the XP, though, for the area in general. Alright, so they did not take over another base. So far. Go around. I'm mainly looking for, like, med kits from these guys, honestly, and some BMG ammo. I'm not going to find it from the runners. I'm looking for the hunters. There we go. Uh, where did we kill a bunch of hunters? We killed them um, over this side. And kids some BMG ammo. Mm. Let's see. More BMG ammo. More meds. N9 handguns are a bit excessive. Just saying. Don't care for them at all, especially not a million of them. Nice. Repair that bird boy up. And I think we got pretty much everything we're going to get from this. So we got Sunby, which is fully kitted out. And then we can do another control point ourselves. I just don't want to pick control points that are too close to this one. I don't know whether it matters too much, but I'm trying to affect the spawning of machines the least out in the wild. Even though I think the control point just being there has affected some spawns. I still have not seen those tanks spawn over near the the Linden, the Linden control point out here. I haven't seen the tanks spawn out there recently. So I still think that control point being put there in general has affected the spawns of those tanks. Which is not ideal. 
just means there's even less positions in the forest region for you to farm, which I always already felt like was one of the more difficult places just to farm in general. With uh, with the farmlands probably being the easiest. So I do want to check. Let's have a look over at Latorp. And see if they've spawned out there. But I don't think they will have. Mm, let's also switch this to AP. And we got to try the sledgehammer. I keep forgetting to do it. Someone mentioned in the comment you hit something three times, then hold it and use the power of Thor on your enemies. Uh, take the grenades. I want the smoke grenades. I'll take the medi. Nah. 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 Nope. Okay. But I don't hear them, so I don't think they've spawned out here again. Um, you used to get a fair few Lynx machines spawning out here as well, which I've not seen either. No. So the Lynx machines and hunters and stuff would spawn up here. You'd have a couple... Whoops. You'd have a couple tanks that would spawn here. And some other random enemies that would spawn up and out here. And I don't see them at all. Maybe we could take over the Ostramark control point. That's a fair distance away. No real safe houses near it. Except for uh, the Anal 144 safe house. It's also bought a stream pedal last week. Came in a couple days ago. And I've barely used it. Obviously I haven't been doing much recording lately. So I haven't really had a chance to use it. I've got it set up to have a record button. And a pause button for the now. Because I really don't know what else to put on it. Um, I did try it out with Gen Zero just to see if like, I could uh, map it to jump. And that works perfectly. Uh, might get a little bit annoying and a bit... Like you could probably hear it going... Ka -chunk, ka -chunk, ka -chunk, ka -chunk. There's some things fighting. That's always good. Okay, let's go check it out. We need to go. Where is that? That direction. Track it, please. Thank you. So I don't need to necessarily farm enemies in the farmlands. I probably could spawn a reaper if it's enough time in game, which I'm not sure whether it has been yet. I don't think so. You'll probably just force a reaper spawn. What have we got? I, yeah, we got seven rivals. I've actually got an assignment to kill some rivals. The thing is, is I don't want to kill rivals anywhere. Uh, we could kill some in the mountains. So we've only got two out there. We've got none there. We have six in the marshlands. We could kill three of them over there. Just looking at me. It's a seeker, I believe. He's seeing me. Well, we just came here to run over to the Ostromark one. We're going to build up a base over there, see how that goes. Because they can be taken over by Phoenix. I mean, it would be awesome to try and get all of them all being attacked at the same time. Be a long video to try and tackle them all in one go though all right let's see so we claim a control point this is now whoa hello how are you doing my god okay so you can abandon it and you gain 25 steel back and your 10 things otherwise you can just build just build bro so I don't think I have much cement to be able to do concrete walls. We've got some wood. Uh, I want to leave a little bit of a gap for benches. And then... 
Ah. Hang on. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's gonna have to do. Probably pretty similar to what I've got at the base now. Try and keep it nice and tight to the truck. Relatively tight to the truck. I'm going to obviously knock some of these out to make room for gates. I'm just for now trying to figure out the dimensions of it. Okay. So, we get rid of this one, and this one, and then let's put a gate. Wait, what? That's the Soviet gate? What? What? Oh, I'm a ding dong. I need this one. Duh. Oh, can I not set it exactly where I want it? Why is it like... Okay, that's fine. Let's just do this and this. There we go. Now it doesn't look so shit. And then we'll head around and do all these quickly. Okay, I've got a basic base set up. Let's put some of these down. Wait, is that facing the right way? No, it's not, you idiot. There we go. What is going on with that? You see how there's now, I can't place stuff there in that spot? Once I place it, if I take it away, it's like, no. You can't place it there again. See? I don't know what... What is happening with that? I can place it over here, though, now. And what? Where's the arrow gone? That's okay, it doesn't matter. Okay. That's a little bit... Now it doesn't look as good. Not a big fan of that. That's alright, though. Alright, let's see. Let's get a... Try and get a tower up. On that side, maybe one up in this corner. Pointing out that way or something. They're both using basic ammo, but that's fine. And then let's put down one of these. And let's put down one of these. And one of these. Okay. Cool. So now we kind of have this set up okay-ish. It's three walls thick. I tried to put down an extra gate the same way I have at my other base, but this red shit blocks it, and I don't know what that is causing that to be a thing. Just listening. I heard harvesters and stuff, but I think they're in the farmlands itself. Here they are. So we need to try and find some things that could potentially provoke an attack over here as well. That's a real basic setup. I probably could definitely make that better. For sure. But that will do for now. And now we just need to... Let's go over to Grand Haggett. Probably a good bet to have enemies spawned over there. Usually some tanks and hunters and stuff to kill in Grand Haggett. Usually makes your frame rate drop. Being anywhere near Grand Haggett when there's enemies around. Because enough of them spawn to cause frame rate drops. Let's see. Yep, I hear him. Now, have we got any rivals here? Nope, he's way away. Good. So these are all just smash them. Kill them all. Ha! 
Okay, we got another tank there. Okay, can't hit me at the moment, which is great. That worked out good for me. Is it just the tanks up here, huh? Interesting. Now, did we get anything to spawn from those two? Did we provoke any attacks? Doesn't seem like it. <clears throat> oh, we did. Yeah, we did. It just didn't give me a notification. Ah. Okay. Don't know why it didn't give me a notification, but I didn't get one. Oh. You were holding out, mate. You were holding out on me. What was all that stuff? Ah, oh, yeah, no hunters and stuff spawned up here. Which is interesting and kind of odd. Okay, so that has a base defense mission potential. Now, I assume you can trigger more than one base defense mission. I believe. You could provoke more than one. Problem is, if you guys and girls know any really good spots to go and farm here, like in the forest, let me know. Because I'm sure I could go through like Ostevik and find some things. Obviously, the bigger enemies are better to be able to fight because they're just going to provoke more score per enemy killed. But... but if there's just a really good spot to farm, let me know. Because farmlands could do it flat out. Go to crater, go up in the top left. Lots of tank spawns. Stuff like that you can basically just rinse and repeat. Farm the farmlands, no problem. Even the marshlands, I kind of probably know a fair few farming spots over the forest. Alright. Let's go see what's in Ostevik. There's got to be... There's plenty of enemies floating around in Ostevik. I know there is. I just don't come here often to farm them. I can feel the frame rate dying already. Oh, there we go. Oh, hi. No, oh, there's another one. No, just red lights. No, there is. I can hear him. Oh, oh hi. Nope, didn't kill the tick. Excuse me. I don't know whether I actually muted in time for me to sneeze then. I think I did. But I might have unmuted as I sneezed. I don't know. So I apologise if I just sneezed into the microphone. That's a few enemies killed. Not a ton though. Yeah, just rubber sitting on the ground there, you know. How many times have you walked around a city and seen rubbers on the ground? Hey, hey, hey. We got any other enemies in Ostevik? Hmm? Oh, I gotta, I gotta grab... I gotta use this. Oh, that's not gonna really do it. There we go. Hello! Oh! Knocked me off me feet. Was it just the one? Oh, okay. I hear seekers. But 
I don't seize them. Oh yeah, hang on. I think I killed it. What do we got out there? A tank? Oh. Was that a seeker behind the tree? Or was that a runner walking away? Thanks, seekers. As a harvester, I can hear it. Oh, that's the bloody... The rival. I don't want to kill the rival. Isn't it? Has to be, right? Where the hell is it? I can hear it, but I don't... Oh, there it is. Oh, maybe not. Hang on. What are you? Oh, you're a tank. Okay, awesome. Whoa! Oh, found the tank. Harvest is dead. I'm not interested in killing that tank. At all. I'm just going to kill the hunters that the harvester spawned. How'd that work out for you, nude? Hey, ah, uh, come here. Power of Thor. The power of Thor compels you. E oh. Thank you. Oh, I'm just gonna eat that. Yep. That's fine. Not too fussed about that, honestly. And now he's not worried about where I am. He's forgotten I'm even here. Because I died. Wow, so I haven't triggered any more base defense stuff. Interesting. I thought, to be honest, we've killed enough enemies to maybe trigger it by now, but I guess not. Oh. Uh, where could we go? Maybe we could go down near the sun, Sunby one. And also, just realising at the start of the video, I said the Sunby base was under attack, but it's not. It's the, um... It's the... Storskogan base that is under attack. Escaped combat. Max level. Is that it? I just got a rival level up? Yeah, I don't see any more attacks on anything. If we claim another control point, we probably will have a base defense on it. But can I have a base defense mission on there? And down here? Or is it only one at a time? I do not know. But I'm interested to see... All a matter of playing the game and testing things out, you know. I'm just going to run over here to this forest and see if there's any enemy spawns happening. That trigger any attention? I actually really hate farming the 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 forest region. I just think it's so annoying. 
spend more time running around looking for enemies in the forest region than what I do fighting them. Feels like anyway. Well, there's a tank up here. Well, I can hear. Where are you, my dude? I hear ya. Ah, oh, hello. I'm freaking out. It's a human. Whoa. It's a human. You stuck there, bud? I'm here to blow out your kneecaps. You okay? Oh, you're not now. You might have been, but you're not now. Come here. Good kick, boys. Out of here. Out of here. Out of here. Good. We're good. And XP. And... Nothing? Really? So that's leveled, that's max, that's a base defense, and that's all we've gotten a trigger so far. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Um, I kind of want to leave them for now. I want to leave these and see if we run around next episode if we can get more to trigger i don't want to go attacking one and then getting rid of it attacking one and then a new one comes up attacking one new one comes up because i feel like that's just going to be a rinse and repeat scenario i want to see if we can get some actual build to them and see how many you can have at once i believe we can have quite a few at once but i'm going to check that and verify that, if you guys and girls don't mind. For now, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Generation Zero in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you'll have a lovely day. All right, peace!